Hi guys, it's Matt Skateboard coming your way with another tutorial, this time in GarageBand. This one is on how to do auto-tune like this. Auto-tune! And it's very simple. It comes in GarageBand. Um, I think since 2006, maybe. Um, so, let's just start a new project. Um, voice um, all right uh, sure all right let's delete this female basic track and what let's just record our um, voice so um, auto tune all right let me record that because I forgot to set off the metronome and yeah, all right, ready? Auto-tune. Okay, so let's listen to the original. Auto-tune. That's the original. So we're going to go to this, the cut. And we're going to go to enhance tuning and turn it up all the way. And click limit to key. And then play it back. Auto-tune. And what Limit to Key does, it basically, um, obviously takes the key of your project, and you can change it, um, and tunes it to that. If we do not, if we change it to, um, we uncheck the Limit to Key, let's see what happens. Auto-tune! See, it's not as good as this. Auto-tune! It sort of fine-tunes it more, and we can even change the key. Auto tune, and it'll automatically do that. You can also adjust the pitch. Auto tune, make it low. Auto tune, and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. If you want more tutorials like this on Photoshop, uh, After Effects, Final Cut Express, um, Mac apps. Um, subscribe to my channel to get updates. Um, I post videos usually um, at least one every day. Um, look Wednesday, I'm having another Mac app battle. Uh, write me a message on YouTube to request for videos and request Mac app battles. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm Max Skateboard. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.